Constructing new intakes in the northern Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta is foundational to modernizing the state water project via the Delta Conveyance Project. The Delta Conveyance Design and Construction Authority, DCA, working at the direction of the Department of Water Resources, DWR, has carefully designed intakes to both draw water and protect fish by applying state-of-the-art technology. Where will the intakes be located and why? DCA and DWR, after carefully reviewing the Sacramento River for 26 miles, chose two sites north and south of the community of Hood, taking into consideration existing land uses, cultural and historic resources, river depth and geometry, and suitable geotechnical conditions. This allows for water flows that facilitate better fish passage and appropriate diversion operations. Temporary levees behind the existing levee at both intake locations will maintain flood protection during the construction period. What type of fish screens will be installed to protect aquatic species? DCA and DWR chose an intake design to include a series of cylindrical screens to be placed below the river surface, as opposed to more common vertical screens along the bank. With openings to draw water roughly the thickness of a quarter, each intake location will have 30 cylindrical screens with a combined maximum diversion capacity of 3,000 cubic feet per second. Each screen is about 29 feet long and 8 feet in diameter. The reason they chose uh, T-screens primarily was to reduce the size of the footprint, uh, the overall facility. That reducing the size of the footprint basically reduces the amount of concrete, the amount of uh, construction time that's uh, involved in construction of the facility and just just reduces the the uh, environmental impacts to the shoreline. What noise abatement strategies did DCA incorporate into the conceptual plans? Well, the two main components for noise abatement was the intake type of intake screen and then the pile driving methodology. Common vertical screens along a riverbank require frequent cleaning with metal brushes driven from above the water surface, creating noise issues for neighbors. Cylindrical screens operate below the water surface and are cleaned by brushes that remove material as the screens rotate, creating no new noise above the surface. Next, the number and depth of piles to be installed by impact driving methods was significantly reduced by opting for a cofferdam design for construction of the intakes that maintains its structural integrity using a reinforced soil cement wall on the levee side rather than through heavy piles. The cofferdam will facilitate temporarily dewatering of the river sites for screen installation and intake construction. Noise reduction strategies such as shrouds will be implemented during the necessary pile driving. To what extent will the project utilize barging? Unlike previous designs, DCA and DWR opted to eliminate any new barge landings for all construction activities. Barge traffic will be limited strictly to placing riprap and log boom piles around the two intakes during the last summer of construction. Barges will be flatbed boats typical for the Delta. How will the intakes be controlled and operated? Operations call for using the new northern intakes mostly at higher flows in the Sacramento River. Diversions are limited to maintain specified bypass flows in the Sacramento River and adjusted by opening and closing valves on each intake screen. Additionally, pulse protections will limit diversions when a pulse of fish may be near the intake. Fish near the intakes will be further protected by regulatory agency requirements for approach velocity through the screen and sweeping velocity past the screen, which would protect even small, relatively slow swimming fish like Delta Smelt. How will water travel from the intakes to the facilities in the South Delta? For the Delta Conveyance Project, DCA will construct a series of structures, including sedimentation basins, on the land side of each intake for the water to safely flow into a tunnel for the water's 45-mile journey to the South Delta by gravity flow. River water seasonally contains considerable sediment. Allowing diverted water to slowly flow through the 20-acre basins will remove sediment so that the tunnel system maintains its designed carrying capacity. At the back of the sedimentation basin, a flow control structure will ensure that the water elevation in the sedimentation basin tracks that of the river. 
The structure maintains this equilibrium through a series of radial gates that are 30 feet wide and 40 feet long. The gate openings are adjusted based on the river elevation. Once water passes through the flow control structure, it drops approximately 150 feet into the tunnel through a single outlet shaft to begin its journey south. A new pump station in the South Delta will lift the water into the existing Bethany Reservoir at the beginning of the California Aqueduct. This pump station will operate in synchrony with the intakes. For more information, see the links in the video description. Follow us on social media and visit the website at dcdca.org.